Welcome or welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be making a really easy pasta and garlic knot recipe. I am definitely not a cooker, but my family is full of amazing cooks. So it is my mission to learn how to cook. So I'm hopefully gonna make a lot of cooking videos this year. So I intentionally picked today's recipe to be a super easy, but super tasty. So you can finesse people into thinking that you're a great cook when in actuality, it's a really easy recipe. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna have my little sister here to help me be my sous chef and my mom's in the background who's also gonna help me if I need. Here's my little sister! Hi! Hello! Okay, let's start. Okay, so let's start with Carbone Spicy Vodka Pasta. So for ingredients, you need pasta, heavy whipping cream, Parmesan cheese, crushed red peppers, and tomato paste. You also need one to two cloves of garlic grated. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure your water comes to a boil and you put a lot of salt into it and dump in your pasta. Make sure to stir it here and there so it does not get stuck. Now to prepare the sauce, we're going to take one fourth cup of olive oil and put that into the pan. You also wanna take the grated cloves of garlic you had earlier and put that in the pan as well. And make sure your heat is on a low because otherwise your garlic will burn. So you're going to keep mixing the garlic into the olive oil until it reaches a nice brown color. Also, another tip is to let the smell and aroma really come through. And that's when you know you are ready for the next step. So next up, we're gonna put in our two cans of tomato paste into the pan. And pro tip, make sure you have them ready to go, can opened and everything before you start with this step. We also ended up putting some water into the sauce because it'll just help the tomato paste break down easier because it was really chunky and thick. So you wanna keep mixing the tomato paste into the garlic and olive oil mixture until it becomes nice and soft. It should look something like this. Okay, so now my baby is going to take over the mixing process while I add in the heavy cream. So I ended up using a little more than three fourths of this whole carton. So you want to keep mixing this mixture until it's nicely blended and a really nice orangey pink color like vodka sauce. Another thing you learn about cooking is that it's important to taste as you go. We ended up putting some more heavy cream into the mixture because we thought it just needed more of that and it was a little too tomato-y. So just make sure you taste as you go so you know how to customize it to your liking because cooking is subjective, of course. So now we're gonna add the crushed chili flakes. Again, this is super important to taste along the way because we ended up adding way more than what you're seeing on the screen. I am brown, so I do like my food a little more spicy, but this pasta in itself wasn't super spicy at all. This was definitely very beginner spicy friendly. Oh, and we also ended up adding salt, which the recipe didn't actually call for, and we put in some black pepper as well. Here we are adding some more chili flakes and it didn't stop there guys, trust me. Also make sure to put the heat a little bit down so it doesn't thicken up too much and so it doesn't burn either. And yep, here I am adding another thing the recipe didn't call for. We ended up adding some Parmesan cheese because you can never go wrong with adding cheese to a pasta recipe. Now we're gonna mix mix away until the cheese is blended into the sauce. Now we're gonna drain our pasta and we're going to mix that into the sauce. Mixing is actually my favorite part of the whole process. I have no idea why, but the recipe also called for a chunk of butter, which we added. We coated the pasta on top so that it can melt a lot faster. Add a little bit of Parmesan cheese to garnish on top and voila, you are done. She's a beauty. Okay, now moving on to the really easy garlic knot recipe. For our ingredients, we need unsalted butter, Parmesan cheese, salt, garlic, parsley. Italian season is actually recommended, but I could not find it in my store, unfortunately. Also need one to two cans of Pillsbury Doughboy biscuits, depending on how much you want to make. So after you lay them on your cutting board, to start making the garlic knots, you want to take a piece of the biscuit dough 
and start rolling it out till it becomes about six inches or enough to tie it into a knot which i'll show in the next clip so to tie it into a knot you want to take both of the pieces and kind of overlap them each other and bring a little nub of the other piece up top so it kind of resembles a garlic knot i'm going to show it again in this clip in case you did not catch it but again just rolling it out big enough overlapping and pulling one of the pieces through so it looks like a proper garlic knot they definitely do get better after a little practice we also ended up doing some smaller garlic knots by cutting the biscuit doughs in half and I actually recommend this because it makes a lot more garlic knots and it also is just a more convenient size because they end up expanding a lot when you put it into the oven. Next up, we're going to start making the garnish that goes on top of the garlic knots. So we put some Parmesan cheese, salt, garlic powder, and parsley, melted the butter, and now we're going to mix all of those ingredients in. Make sure to coat all of the garlic knots very generously with the mixture. We also ended up putting some of it on top after it came out of the oven. Now it's all done to put into the oven. We put it for about 12 minutes for 400 degrees. Here it is straight out of the oven. Make sure to garnish with a little bit more butter and Parmesan and you are done. Hey guys, so we just finished cooking. It took longer than I expected. <laughs> and let's review them now. Okay, let's try. Cheers. The pasta is really good. Mm -hmm. um, is it too spicy? It's not spicy. I think this is a really good and easy recipe. I totally recommend trying this. The, the garlic knots on the other hand, I don't really think they look like garlic knots, but they're not bad. So you want to try these? These are the mini ones we made. They're really... Cheers. Cheers. So they don't taste like garlic knots. <laughs> <laughs> they taste like biscuit with like butter and parsley and onion powder which is obviously the ingredients um it's good like you can never go wrong with butter and bread so it's good but it's not gonna taste like a garlic knot for sure but it's the way easier sibling i guess much easier than doing the real work <laughs> yeah but it's good like this is really um flaky and crusty and buttery so i recommend okay so oh yeah how much would you rate my pasta dish that you have me with. Nine, nine out of ten. Okay, nine out of ten. That's awesome. Okay, what about the garlic knots? Seven out of ten. Okay, I'll take it. Seven out of ten. That's pretty fair. Okay, guys. So we're gonna finish up eating. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. Yes, please subscribe. Listen to what she said. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.